Now I would like to explain with this graphic how carbon dioxide is transported. In the previous video we talked about how the oxygen is transported. And now is the time to talk about the carbon dioxide transport. Well, the carbon dioxide is way more dissolvable in water, in other words, in plasma. Um, and there are three most common ways that is transport. One is dissolved purely in, in plasma. The other one is uh, binded with the hemoglobin, not with the hemigroup, not with iron. It's just uh, in the globin parts of the hemoglobin, a little tiny percent. But the most common way that we transport carbon dioxide is hidden in, in, in bicarbonate using one enzyme that used to convert carbon dioxide into bicarbonate or sometimes carbonic acid. And this enzyme is the carbonic anhydrase. Now, the carbonic anhydrase is located inside the erythrocyte. And in order to use it, that carbon dioxide need to get into the erythrocyte. So right now you know, and probably from previous chapters as well, that uh, erythrocyte doesn't contain only hemoglobin, containing hemoglobin and this um, powerful enzyme that is carbonic anhydrase. And I took the time to graphic in the different chemical reactions that take place in order to convert or disclose the carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide, that's why I, I started at the, and I didn't write it over here, but this one represents the tissue, represent or the systemic capillaries. So these one are the systemic capillaries. Because this is where carbon dioxide is produced. And this other graphic represent the uh, alveoli capillary. Now, um, as the systemic capillaries is, that's why I start over here, because is where carbon dioxide is produced. It's produced by all the cells in our tissues after metabolic activity and after as it's a waste material after the glucose oxidation uh, that need to be uh, used in order to produce ATP. But certainly any single cell in our body as a waste after glucose oxidation produce certainly these two molecules that is a waste. It's not the only molecules uh, waste molecules that the cells produce. I'm talking about specifically about the um, waste material produced by the cells after uh, glucose oxidation. And obviously it has to be the full system for glucose oxidation with the three steps, the glycolysis, the, ox the um, uh, Krebs cycle, and the um, electron transport. Now, these two molecules, carbon dioxide and oxygen, are the one that Champ obviously um, is metaphorically talking, they don't Champ, carbon dioxide move by diffusion and um, water move, move by uh, osmosis. But certainly they get into the erythrocyte and use the carbonic anhydrase. These are the two substrates at the systemic capillaries two substrates at the systemic capillaries, water and carbon dioxide. Use the carbonic anhydrase and the carbonic anhydrase convert it into carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is a very weak molecule, very unstable, and is easily to be dissociated rapidly into bi uh, bicarbonate and hydrogen. And this one is the explanation why if we increase the carbon dioxide in our system, simultaneously we increase the amount of hydrogen. But keep in mind that these two molecules are dumped into plasma and remain in plasma. Now, pay attention that this bicarbonate is the one that contains the original uh, carbon dioxide that is produced by the cell. So in other words, 
carbon dioxide is hidden inside of this bicarbonate. And they continue uh, swimming, swimming, because this one is happening at the systemic capillaries, and we need to get this erythrocyte all the way because the circuit of this erythrocyte from the tissues is getting back into the right atrium, right, uh, right atrium from the right atrium, go to the right ventricle, the right ventricle cystal, and um, is ejecting the blood into the pulmonary arteries that get into the lungs. And now we get into the alveoli capillaries. And in the alveoli capillaries, that erythrocyte that contain carbonic anhydrase is needed to disclose again the carbon dioxide that was hidden in bicarbonate. How? Because that carbonic anhydrase is going to use the same bicarbonate and the same hydrogen that was used before to uh, hidden the carbon dioxide is using the carbonic anhydrase to produce now, again, carbonic acid. And remember, inside of the bicarbonate, we have the carbon, uh, carbon dioxide hidden, and inside of the carbonic acid, we still have the carbon dioxide hidden. But again, this one is an unstable molecule and is split in these two other molecules. One is the carbon dioxide, again, because now it is closed, that um, in the system is disclosed, but it's not going back to plasma. That carbon dioxide is diffused into the alveoli. And get into the alveoli, it's gonna be breathed out, eliminated through the body. What happened with the water? The water is split, it's half percent of the water is um, getting into the alveoli, and we eliminate water when we excel because um, the, simple, um, the simple visualization of that is when you try to produce vapor, <sighs> that you need to clean your reading glasses or your sunglasses, um, is uh, the way that um, is a good example that in our breathing out, we eliminate water. Now, uh, the other percentage of uh, water is, um, remain in plasma and you know that plasma 92 percent of the plasma is uh, is water now the one that i want you to be clear is which one is the um, chemical reaction that takes place at the systemic capillaries and i mentioned the two substrates are carbon dioxide and water at the systemic capillaries carbon dioxide and water that is converted in carbonic acid. Now this carbonic acid is split roughly in bicarbonate and hydrogen. Now navigate, navigate, navigate from the uh, in plasma and right now is getting into the alveoli capillaries. And the chemical reaction at the um, alveoli capillaries are using two different substrates. The substrate right now is bicarbonate and hydrogen to produce again carbonic acid that is split in, uh, carbon, in carbon dioxide and water. And right here is again the original carbon dioxide that we take over here is the way that we use in how we is transported in plasma to be eliminated in our breath out, and is the most common one. The most common one, uh, common uh, pathway that uh, carbon dioxide used to be, um, in, in how carbon dioxide is transported. It's hidden or converted in uh, bicarbonate. In the following videos, we are going to talk about the acid-base balance, and I want you to have this concept very clear about the two molecules, carbonic acid and bicarbonate. Carbonic acid and bicarbonate. Keep in mind these two molecules, but because they have a very important function in adjusting uh, slightly deviations of the blood pH, and this one will come in the next video.